boom. Knuckle twins, how are you guys? We're all good, you good? Yep, in the Arsenal Manga coat, doing the filming today. <laughs> how low does it go? <laughs> it's a zip break. Yeah, zip's all right, zip's good. All good, all good. You're in for a treat today. We are showing you an updated knuckleball tutorial and we're also going to explain what is a knuckleball. Do you guys know what a knuckleball is? I, I, don't, today. I don't, do you? We've been doing what it for five it? years, but I have no idea what it is, so Wikipedia probably. <laughs> Google. Jokes. We're really going to show you what's going on with a knuckleball, what it is, a bit of history behind it. Those notes that you saw down there are the original notes from my knuckleball tutorial a long time ago now. But yeah, we're going to get to it. Enjoy. Knuckle it. So a bit of history about a knuckleball. It actually originates from quick cricket. <laughs> <laughs> joking. It originates from baseball, but this is all we can get our hands on. We're from the UK, so bear with. It's actually a pitching technique where the baseball pitchers will throw the ball in their knuckles and it will create erratic movement before reaching the batter. So that's my idea of the knuckleball pitch. I'm not sure if it's right. <laughs> Comment down below if you know how to do it. Let's give it a go, shall we? Amazing. That was pretty good to be fair. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Knuckleball. <laughs> so, Eddie Cisotte is a famous baseball player and he was actually one of the first pitchers to throw the ball in a knuckleball way. And they actually nicknamed him Knuckles because his technique was so unique and would deceive the batsman. Very similar to knuckleball football when we deceived the goalkeeper. I'm feeling the knuckleball already. Let's give it a go. Keep watching for a better demonstration with this. There we go. Time to move on to football. So speaking my language, a knuckleball in football is a shot where the ball will swerve and dip with little or no rotation. One of my favorite knuckleball free kick takers is the former Brazil international and Leo midfielder, Juninho Pelabacano. He actually scored 44 goals direct from a free kick. Actually, scrap that. Juninho scored his knuckleball free kick from way over there somewhere. Ridiculous distance on his shots. Absolutely mind blowing and really inspired me to do a knuckleball free kick. <sighs> right, so just talking about inspiration. Juninho inspired me as a professional footballer watching on TV various YouTube clips. But on the subject of YouTube inspiration, there were so many free kick takers that were doing a knuckleball free kick way before I was. Shout out to Budazza, Jolta, Shoot and Thrill, formerly Ico Bet, Mini Lair 19, and all you guys free kickers, absolute legends, because without you, I wouldn't have been inspired to learn a knuckleball free kick. And I think the main purpose of me entirely doing them today is to inspire you guys to do knuckleball free kick. So thanks to the former people who inspired us, and hopefully we can inspire you. What's mad as well is that free kickers actually have helped us so much to grow our YouTube channel. And about three years ago, they posted our knuckleball tutorial, the original one. Mate, come on! They posted our original knuckleball tutorial about three, four years ago, and it's now reached three million views. So let's get this one up to three million views. <laughs> if you've been 10 seconds skipping us, now stop because it's getting important. We're now going to teach you guys how to hit a knuckleball free kick. Right, step one. There we go. <laughs> step two. Right now, all jokes aside, here we go. Step one knuckleball tutorial is placing the ball. First thing you want to do is grab one of these, roll it out and whack it. Step one. Placing the ball. When placing the ball, make sure you have something shown, like a marking. It could be the logo or the valve, and place this to help you hit the centre of the ball. A lot of people say, what's the best distance to do a knuckleball free kick? My preferred preference is anywhere between 20 to 30 yards out. Probably about 25 yards out here. And as you'll see in all our free kick videos, this is generally the distance that I will strike a knuckleball free kick. Quick tip for you guys, 
when filming your knuckleball free kicks, make sure you put a bit of zoom in the camera lens to really focus on the knuckleball. That's why a lot of our free kicks look like they're really close, but they're actually this distance. We zoom in on the camera to show the knuckleball effect. Step two is the run up. The run up is very important when performing a knuckleball free kick. I usually take between five and seven steps back directly from the ball and then two to the left. When striking a knuckleball guys, it's really important that our approach is nice and straight and not too far to the left or right. We're not doing a curve shot, we're doing a knuckleball. So it should look like this. Moving on, still on step two, but now we're approaching the ball. Really important that with the approach that you're on your toes and you have high knees. I'm in for this for my gazelle run up. Always have been, always will be. Looks a bit dodged, <laughs> but it works. That's the main thing. Do whatever works for you. Remember guys, to make sure that the last stride in your run up is bigger to help you generate power when doing knuckleball free kicks. Okay, so the third step, this is gonna be the final step, but we are also gonna include some secret tips, so stay tuned for them. Third step is the contacts on the ball. You can't do a knuckleball unless you strike the ball in a particular way, and the contact is very important. So when striking a knuckleball, guys, this is the area where we're gonna strike the ball. It's the hardest bone in your foot and it really does help to create that knuckleball effect. So I just showed you where we're going to strike the ball, right on the instep. Really important that when doing a knuckleball we cancel the follow through. We're not curving the ball, our foot's not going to go all the way across. We're going to strike the ball and cancel the follow through. Here's how to do it. So as you're striking the ball, you're putting weight in your left shoulder and you're leading to the left. This will help your foot naturally come to the side. So I've done a knuckleball with a quick cricket ball and a penny flutter ball, but not a real football yet. So let's do that now. First time, every time. So that knuckleball was actually a dead ball because the ball had the same flight path as it flew towards the goal. There are three other types of knuckleballs. Top spin, where the ball will rotate and spin downwards. Dip, where the ball will fly over the wall and down towards the goal. And movement, where you get the ball to be a dead ball or it will just generally move all over the place. Watch these examples from us and comment down below your favourite type of knuckleball. Shout out to the Blue Lizards, aka Pledge Rinstinks, look at them. Who remembers them, eh? Go on, boy, it's sure you made them, boy. Let's go, boy. Oh, no, back to the pit, my Oh, oh, mate, you get that? <laughs> Hopefully you've enjoyed the examples guys. We're now going to leave you with some top tips. The first tip, as you're learning and practicing, don't be disheartened if you don't get it first try. It will take time to practice. It took me at least six months to get it going properly and really consistent, so don't give up. So try starting from close range as well. Don't feel like you have to do free kicks. You can be in the garden, shooting against the fence, not at the windows, we're not encouraging that, or even doing penalties.
So my technique is very similar to David Luiz, the Brazil international, obviously infamous for his goal in the World Cup against Colombia, where he used the inside part of his foot, predominantly in step is what I do. Obviously there's players like Ronaldo and Bale, and they use more of the laces technique. But make sure you find a technique and way that suits you guys, okay? And just bear in mind that when you're learning it, the power will come. So don't feel disheartened if you're not getting the power on the ball straight away. That will come naturally as you learn the technique. So the next tip may surprise a few of you guys, and that is the weather. You're probably thinking, what are you on about? How can the weather affect a knuckleball? But it does. When it's windy, it can be really difficult to perfect the knuckleball. People think it helps, but it certainly doesn't. So a clear day is what you're looking for. So just tell the weatherman to make it clear and sunny for you. <laughs> Last secret tip to think about is what footballs and what boots to use. I've gone retro today. I'm wearing the Predator Instinct from 2014 and I've absolutely loved them. So I don't think the boot plays a big part in perfecting knuckleball free kick. It is mainly down to technique, so you must remember that, guys. But Football boots, just wear what you're comfortable in. And in terms of footballs, all the footballs that we use today have been official match balls. And we can prove that with the FIFA approved logo. So we always use official match balls or kind of top glide or replica footballs. Never any of that helium stuff or whatever people think, all the haters. But that's part of a knuckleball free kick. That's a knuckleball life and yeah.